Welcome back to Wittenberg Academy's Latin course, first year Latin, and we are ready for lessons 29 and 30. Uh, some brief lessons this week uh, give you a chance to review vocabulary and learn a little new vocabulary, but no new forms this week. So really uh, work on shoring up the forms we already know, pardon me, <clears throat> and uh, the next week, uh, Lord willing, we will get on to uh, building yet more verb forms. But for this week, we're on lesson 29. Let's do some uh, vocabulary. Adoleskintulus. Adoleskintulus is a boy, an adolescent, right? Ungulus is an angle, a corner. Animus is mind, spirit, soul, courage, usually mind or courage. Anulus is a ring, anulus. Avunculus is a maternal uncle, so avuncular, the English word. Uh, that's your mom's brother, avunculus. Avus is grandfather. Capilus is hair. Captivus, captive. Circus, it's a circus. Ursus, bear. <clears throat> Ruber is red. And Weedit is uh, he saw, of course, uh, third person singular. And uh, happens to be past tense. Uh, the imperfect tense there, Weedit. Rather, excuse me, the perfect tense. <clears throat> so, vocabulary. Uh, go ahead and pause uh, the lesson after each one and then work on, uh, work on it yourself. <clears throat> uh, Henricus ad circum hodie venet, et camelus leopardos simios ursos widet. Okay, so we've got two verbs, venet and widet, and they're separated by et and, so essentially we've got two little sentences. <clears throat> so the first one, Henry goes to the circus today, or went, rather. Today, Henry went to the circus. And the verb, weed it, he saw camels, leopards, monkeys, bears. Okay. Number two. Gualteri Capilus S. Ruber, said Caroli Niger. Okay, so uh, our verb is simply est, means is, right? So we need some stuff in the nominative to go with it. It's capillus. So the hair is ruber, red. Whose hair? Genitive singular, Walter's. Walter's hair is red, but Charles's is black. Sentence three. Avunculus Roberti pecunia multam discipulis donabat. Avunculus Roberti pecunia multam discipulis donabat. So the uncle of Robert, now a verb, donabat, was giving. What was he giving? Needs to be in the accusative. Pecunia multam, much money, discipulis, dative plural to the students. Uh, Robert's uncle was giving much money to the students. Sentence four. Awe Stefano et Cornelio fabulas multas narant. Awe Stefano et Cornelio fabulas multas narant. What's the verb? Narant. Third person plural. Uh, they were telling stories. They were narrating. And who's doing that? What's in the nominative? Awi. The grandfathers. The grandfathers were telling Fabulous Maltas many stories to Stephen and to Cornelius. Then sentence five. Captivus ex asia venit. Captivus ex asia venit. So the captive went out from Asia. The captive left Asia. Okay. Got some nautical um, 
uh, stuff there. Uh, Ancora, Antenna, Carina, some extra vocabulary that just to be interesting. But let's go ahead and push on to um, lesson 30, which again, there's not much to do here. It's just uh, going over names and tells you about how Roman names for men and, uh, and women uh, worked in the Roman world. Um, and so you can read that over, but it's really just a, simply a lesson to get you a little uh, more information on Rome, and it's very easy to, uh, to read through. And so this week, um, really hit the forms, because to go ahead and take a look at, at Lesson 31 for next week. Lesson 31, we're going to be adding a lot. Perfect, perfect, and future perfect of Laudo. And if you wanted, it would certainly be a good idea if you have extra time this week to simply begin memorizing uh, the forms in Lesson 31. We'll actually do the lesson next time, talk about what these tenses mean, uh, and so forth. Uh, but, uh, but if you wanted to, for now, just begin to work on the forms, that would certainly, uh, certainly be helpful as well. All right, that's it.